Hey, thanks for joining me. This is Sue, and today we're going to use Canvas Workspace downloaded version and a free SVG that I have for you and alter it. I'll show you how to alter it. So go up to the file menu and we'll bring in the design that uh, you'll find the design in my resource library. And this is it unzipped once you've unzipped it. So choose the SVG. You can choose SVG or FCM, but this tutorial is with the SVG version. And there are the four versions of the design. There's actually four of them. And a little fifth one is a bonus in the middle. So this is actually a tutorial on creating a coaster, but you can use these designs for anything. Go over to the Layers panel and you'll see the shapes in the Layers panel on the right there. We're going to alter this bottom right shape. And we're going to put that into the center of it just to make it a little different design. You can add whatever center you want. Let's go into edit and we are going to divide that um, shape. And then we're going to go into the layers panel. You can see it's a little different now. You can see we've got some extra layers in the panel. And there's that one up the top there. And then there's the hearts. And the original layer so it's in four different layers that's one piece and you could have that design with the hearts in the center which is a really pretty design or you can select the other the hearts other section the heart section and drag that out and you could have the original design that we started with if you remove both pieces allows room for another section of the design. This one will just need to be resized slightly and make sure that the maintain ratio is selected and just reduce the size so that it suits. Select all the objects and align so it sits in the middle, align in the middle and the center so both of those alignment and you'll see it right in the middle. Actually I think it might look better a little bigger so you can just Increase the size a little bit and align once again with the center and the middle. And there you go. How easy was that? So as I said before, you can use the hearts or the insert. You could swap out any of these designs centers. You could add your own center. You could add a monogram, some letters. Uh, so to export this now to your PC, go up to the file and export um, file. You can either save it using that top one or transfer it to your machine using the middle one. And there it's gone. That's your successful message. And there's the layers. Now you can actually group these up if you want to. And you can also hide what you uh, don't want to send. So if you just want to send one of the designs, you hide, use the little eye icon and you can hide the areas that you do not wish to send to the cutting machine. So now those are hidden. Only that design left will be um, sent to the cutting machine. And so we just bring them back. And you can also change these um, designs to draw there's the group down the bottom and duplicate and trash so to the left is group that one there is group and you'll see the change of the group and close and open that group you can also name those groups and, and pieces of the shape and you can change them to draw files if you want to you can see the icon, the cut icon changes to a draw icon. So some of these designs could be drawn. We'll go up and ungroup it in the layers and ungroup. And it's back to how it was. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. You can play with these designs as much as you like. These are actually made as coasters for a tutorial. You'll find the tutorial on my website, createwithsue.com. And here I'll just click into another screen and here you can see the finished coasters are cut out with metallic on the right and a greeny colour on the left in adhesive vinyl. 
catch you next time.